Hi. Okay, if you're wondering why I have a green shirt on and a blue bandana, I have a blue dress on. So judge me not. It it, it matches. I swear. It it just it goes together. Like, see the waistline? Yeah. Okay. I just need to get that out the way. <laughs> I had to get that out the way. All right, you guys. So, hello, 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 booktubing world. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So. I need to get lip gloss. I'll be right back. Hello, 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 Booktoon World. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video. So, I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a part two of fall recommendations by black authors, and a few of you guys said you did. I didn't want to do repetitive content, but like I said, I actually had a list of 60 books and then some of you guys left more books in the comments and I also have like four or five videos on my TikTok recommended books. Some of them were in the last video, some of them are not. So I have a plethora of books so please do not feel like <laughs> I don't have nothing to bring you because I trust me I do, trust me. So I actually have 20 books here today to talk about. I don't think I've talked about any of these in any of my other content and originally I had 27 books so I knocked off seven books just so I wouldn't be talking for too long and it wouldn't be too hard on editing Capri because I have to look out for me you know what I'm saying I gotta look out for me Lucian so these are in no particular order so yeah let's get into the video okay so 20 fall books by black authors 20 more actually and if you are someone who prefers short content or something that's not long form then please check out my TikToks because I have like four or five videos recommending books by black authors on there as well i used to do about 10 to 20 each video so feel free to head over there but today we're going to be talking about the books that i have on my list okay so the first book on my list i have is deja brew this one is part of a series and i read the first book in the series which was witchful thinking but this one is following a celebrity chef who is kind of down on her luck everything is going terribly bad for her so at midnight she makes a wish for her life to just get in order and come together lo and behold she ends up meeting this reality star who is also down on his luck and he also has this magical cookbook so they've decided to work together to try to see if they can help each other out and of course a romance ensues your girl loves cooking and i love food especially in any form of media so i'm really excited to see how this one shakes out it seems really unique i love the cover so i hope that i like this one oddly enough the second book that i have to recommend is also called deja brew and one of you you guys actually commented this one i haven't seen this one anywhere so i'm really excited that you brought it up and it's basically like a cozy mystery it's following the main character who is in a new town and as she's settling into her life there she finds out that she's from a family of witches as she gets more comfortable in the town she ends up conjuring her own magic and she ends up summoning a talking dog so it gets a little bit crazy but nevertheless she's determined to get settled into her new life however <laughs> she ends up running she ends up running into issues with this co local coffee shop owner and they you know become rivals only to later find out that this coffee shop owner is found dead so she's determined to figure out what happened and it's just like a cozy mystery it seems really cute the writings are really high so it seems promising so i think you guys would love this if you're like a mystery fall reader then this is the one for you it only has about three a little bit over 300 ratings so make sure you are someone that also rates the book after you finish reading it okay the next book that i have to recommend is a wide a graphic novel and I'm gonna read the first sentence of the synopsis I know everybody does not like that but I just thought the synopsis was perfectly put so it says ghost roast delivers a paranormal adventure full of first crushes lost histories and impossible task of fitting in when your dad is a professional ghost hunter I think that's like a perfect synopsis of the book like sometimes synopsis be given too much away but sometimes you could just read the first sentence and you are golden so if that sounds like something that you would enjoy definitely check ghost roast out Okay, the next book that I have to recommend is Within These Wicked Walls, and I, again, am gonna read the first sentence of this synopsis because I feel like it sums it up really well. It says, What the heart desires, the house destroys. Andromedia is a debater, uh, ex an exorcist hired to cleanse the household of an evil eye. When a handsome young heir named Magnus Rochester reaches out to hire her, Andromeda quickly realizes that this job is like no other. With horrifying manifestations at every turn and that Magnus is hiding far more than she has been trained for. I think that's perfect. So she's basically hired to clean the evil spirits within the house and she finds out there's more hidden within. Hunted House just gives fall and we are in October 
so we definitely can lean more into the horror books and the haunted houses so definitely check this one out the next book that i have to recommend is i tatuba and this is basically like the salem witch trials but make it black <laughs> so basically it's following the first witch of the salem witch trials and it also ties in slavery so definitely check your triggers if you're a sensitive reader but it seems like everyone that has read it has really enjoyed it it's a little bit of an older book but i love recommended books that are a little bit older because just because it's from like five to ten years ago doesn't mean it's not still good so definitely check this one out if you're a lover of the salem witch trials or if you've read that book or seen anything that focuses on that as far as like movies are concerned but i think it's going to be dark twisted and witchy so those are all of my hit words okay so the next book that i have to recommend is the getaway and this one i did see floating around booktube for a little bit but i didn't really see anyone actually read it or review it <laughs> and this one is basically it's kind of like dystopian it's set in the city called the Karloff country and it's basically like a vacation city away from the apocalyptic state of the real world so people are literally in the state of an apocalypse and they come here to get a vacation away from that but within the Karloff country the main character starts to slowly realize that things aren't all what it seems it's a little bit more dark a little bit more sinister and not at all trustworthy so i think this book is perfect for people that love dystopian books or love like horror spooky mystery books this is definitely something that you can get into okay so the next book that i have to recommend is out of body and this one is following the main character who's never really fit in with any of her friend group she's always kind of like chameleoned her way out she's just adjusted and pretended to have the personality that fits for that friend group and she decided that she no longer wants to do that she wants to meet someone and be friends with someone who loves her for her and Megan ends up meeting Elsie who seems like the perfect friend and during their friendship anniversary things start getting revealed that are a little bit more dark and sinister and she no longer feels like she is in her own body so that's all I'm gonna say with that one I love the cover the reviews seem really promising and I've seen a few people talk about this book on bookstagram so I definitely think you should check it out and if you like it let me know next book that I have to recommend is dark corner and this one follows a town besieged by evil the main character David ends up going to a town where his father died he ended up drowning while he was on a boat and he's determined to find out just more about his father more about this town and as he's settling in he gets more comfortable but he slowly starts seeing that there's a lot of things going on in this town that are very very creepy and then a new neighbor moves in and when this neighbor moves in more people start disappearing so it's it's, it's giving serial killer like you got to get up out of there i don't know about david but you know he seems to be estranged from his father i would have had to get up out of there but of course it's a book so you know <laughs> he's gonna stay and try to figure out what happens couldn't be me but good luck to david good luck to david so that's basically what this book is following if you like books that are set in spooky towns then this is definitely the book for you next book that i have to recommend is the creepening of dogwood house and this one is a middle grade book that follows the main character whose mother recently passed and now moving to a new town with their witchy aunt and she's decided to go back to the family's childhood home and the second that they step foot on that property the main character is just like hell no like this is just spooky in the daytime like how was the house spooky in the daytime i don't want no parts of this and as time goes on the house slowly starts coming more and more alive and slowly but surely the main character slowly realizes that this house is haunted it is not what it seems and there's definitely a reason that his mother ran away when she was like 17 but because she never talked about it he never really knew but as the story goes on we definitely find out along with him the next book that i have to recommend is the secret life of maggie granger and i'm again <laughs> unfortunately gonna read the synopsis for this one because i feel like it sums it up perfectly this is I think it's a co-author book where there's two authors that are writing this book together and one of the authors her name is Desiree and I've read like four of her books she never gives long synopsis so she does not like going into detail about what the book is about she gives you a vague idea and as the story unfolds you find out more and more so you never have to worry about spoilery synopsis if Desiree is behind the pen so let me read the synopsis for this one it says a vampire a witch and a siren get accepted into a magical hbcu the rest i am not allowed to say but just know that there's a talking cat named kwan a few murders that went cold and a world that is just below our feet 
I mean, the books that I've read by Desiree are magical in a mundane way where there's like everyday magic, root magic, stuff like that. So I'm really excited to read this one. I do have it on my Kindle and I love this cover. So I definitely want to check it out and see if it's going to be a new favorite. The next book that I have is The Lonely Below. And this is a middle grade horror that follows the main character, Eve, who is new to town. And as she gets more comfortable in her school, she starts realizing that the teachers are creepy. Like they are giving very much... I cannot trust you you probably do dark magic after hours like just no so it's giving dark academia but real literal dark academia and she's just trying to get <laughs> more she's just trying to get more comfortable in the town she's finding out more things about the town's history and of course there are also ghosts in the school so honestly I just think it's going to be really really good the main character is also autistic so I love the representation there I've heard good things about it so I'm excited to check it out I am someone that still enjoys middle grade books there's something so simplistic about middle grade and just straight to the point that I really enjoy so if you're someone that still enjoys middle grade books then I definitely think you should check this one out okay so the next book that I have to recommend is Jackal and this book has definitely been making its rounds on booktube on bookstagram and on book talk but I haven't really heard too much chatter about it recently and I'm just like this is the perfect fall book so this one follows the main character her name is Liz she goes back to her hometown for her childhood friend's wedding and she's never felt really comfortable there the town hasn't always been welcoming and upon her arrival she finds out that a lot of black girls have gone missing including the bride's daughter during one of the parties so now she's determined to figure out what's going on what's happening and hopefully find the bride's daughter honestly the cover just lures me in like <laughs> I think it's so beautiful and I hope the story is just as good okay the next book that I have to recommend is against the current and this is another mystery book I'm definitely looking out for my mystery girls in this recommendation video it's basically following the main character who opens a new West Indian bakery only for another owner of a bakery to show up on her opening day and cause havoc and he goes from showing up on her opening day to showing up dead and she's trying to figure out what exactly happened because she doesn't want to be tied up in the blame for this bakery owner's death because she seems to be the last person that spoke to him or got into it with him so it's not looking good for her and that's usually the way most mystery books are set up but I know a lot of people really love mysteries and I feel like mystery books are perfect for the fall so definitely check this one out and let me know if it's as good and as cute as the cover okay the next book that I have to recommend is one of you and it follows a family who is just all around seen as perfect from everybody in the town but as time goes on people start to think that they're not so perfect after all and within the family someone ends up dying and during the funeral and all of the arrangements for this family member someone by the name of Liberty shows up and she's doting upon everyone in the family and the two main characters are sisters who are very close one of them believes everything that Liberty says and the other girl does not she's definitely side-eyeing her like how do you know all these things about our family member how do you know this how do you know that we've never heard of you I just love when a character shows up that d isn't really connected to a family but is connected to a family and is trying to convince them that they can trust them it's something about that it's like a stranger it's like a stranger being in your house and it's like watching that from the outside especially if you're watching like a movie or something like that you're just like why are you trusting this person but the person always shows up in a vulnerable state and because this family member just passed they're showing up when the family's in a vulnerable state and kind of infiltrating the family so I don't know I think it's going to be good it kind of puts me in the mind of the book Nana and I really love that book so I'm hoping this one is as good as that the next one that I have to recommend is how to recognize a demon has become your friend and this is just a collection of stories short stories and poetry and the cover is definitely giving creepy spooky scary all right the ratings are really high and I, it seems very promising short stories are usually hit or miss but it's a mix of horror and sci-fi so I feel like you know that could be done really well and it seems like it has been okay let's see okay let's see what we got what we got what we got so the next book that I have to recommend is wonder and this one is like a dystopian Alice in Wonderland but there's nothing magical about it and it's written by Christina C. Jones I've read I think three books by her but none of them were dystopian or fantasy or anything like that they were romance books so this definitely is something that is outside of what I've seen her write about 
but the reviews are raving and everyone is saying that they wish it was longer it's like 275 pages which is almost 300 pages and people are begging for more so if that's any indication that this book is good then i definitely think you should check it out okay the next one is a little bit complicated a little bit complicated but follow me follow me follow me keep up this one is called this one is called a dance for the dead and it follows the main character whose name is dk and they are the next in line for this warrior cult so they're an heir for this warrior cult they end up falling asleep and when they wake up they're inside of a secret shrine of a village deity so they're once they wake up there they're seen as a cursed person and no one will go near them no one trusts them and now they're determined to figure out who put them there in the first place and hopefully climb the ladder back to be in the place that they're supposed to be because they are next in line they're the heir and for me this is very unique i love culty books but a culty book following an heir that wakes up in a shrine like hello and the cover is just insane i have got to read this book because i just want to know what happens like it's just it just seems so unique and i think it's going to be really really good the next book that i have to recommend is this cursed house and this one comes out on october 8th so keep your eyes open it follows a main character who leaves her life in chicago to go to new orleans and basically look after this family only to find out they are cursed so while she's there she's determined to figure out why they're cursed and hopefully find a way to break the curse because it's affecting her as well the next book that i have to recommend is as the wicked watch and this one is following the main character who is a news reporter and she's determined to figure out where these two black girls have gone missing because they're tied to the murders of a serial killer who is still on the loose so i don't know i haven't read too many books that have serial killers as the plot but it seems really interesting and i feel like following a news reporter is always going to be a journey because they be nosy child they will risk it all for the story they want to know what the hell is going on and it seems like her heart is in this so i think it's going to be really really good and the final book that i have to recommend you guys is conjure women this is uh, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to <laughs> explain the synopsis but it's basically following three women one is the mother and she's a healer the other is the daughter and she's basically following the footsteps of her mother as like the mentee and then is fo also following a cursed child so they're basically their lives end up basically being intertwined and it goes from there so i love stories that follow multiple characters especially if it's done well and this one includes like magic so i think it's going to be really well done i'm hoping that the characters really stand out and I'm interested to see just the magical setup of this world and how everything shakes out because it really does sound good. I didn't want to read too far into it because y'all know the synopsis be giving too much damn away but I think it definitely has promise and the cover is beautiful. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So those are all the books. I think, I, like I told you guys, I had 27 books, but I shortened it to 20 because I feel like if it would have been 27, I would have been talking forever. And I don't think I'm going to do a part three of this because by the time this video just gets a season and stuff, it's, it's going to be fall season will be over so i hope you guys got some good recommendations from these two videos that i've done if you want more i definitely have more over on my tiktok i feel like this is like a good mix we have mystery we have horror we have short stories we have poetry we have romance and some of the other ones so i just feel like i gave a really good mix if you've read any of these books or if you have any of these books on your tbr please let me know in the comment section below if you've made it to the end of this video please leave this emoji right here so i know you made it to the end thank you guys so much for watching always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time and a special thank you to all of my patrons y'all need to get ready for the next readathon we have coming up okay by now by the time this video comes out it should already be posted so y'all better gear up we finished bingo we finished bingo so now it's time for our next readathon. And if you want to join us on Patreon, feel free. The link is below. But again, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Okay. Bye.